Hey guys, today we're talking about key signatures that use forward extensions on cello. I'll explain all about forward extensions in a minute, but if you're new to key signatures, check out my other videos, which I've linked below. Otherwise, have your instrument tuned up and handy so you can play along. Before we jump in with the finger patterns, let's review what you probably already know about key signatures. We always put sharps or flats in the same order so we can tell at a glance which ones we need. This is the key to knowing which notes to play. So if there's one sharp, it's always F. If there are two sharps, they're always F and C. See if you can say them all in order with me. F, C, G, D, A, E, B. It helps if you can memorize these, but if this is new to you, it's okay. You'll catch on as we go. Let's start on the C string. The notes on the tapes are D, E, and F. By the way, those all happen to be natural notes, no sharps so far. Let's play them together. You'll hear four clicks to set the tempo. I hope you made sure to use good technique. Your elbow should be at a 45 degree angle to your torso with your thumb centered behind your second finger. Your fingers should be equally spaced and shaped like the letter C. Try not to collapse. Feel free to pause the video to practice this pattern with good technique and intonation. But if you're all set, let's learn about forward extensions. In order to reach a half step higher, your first finger will stay where it is on the string and everything else, your thumb, hand, fingers, and arm will drop toward the bridge. Pause the video to try this movement a few times. When you're in forward extension position, your first finger will be on the first finger tape, your second finger will be on the third finger tape, and the third finger will be on the fourth finger tape, so that fourth finger can play a half step higher than normal. We never want to stretch a whole step from third to fourth finger. Always reach this new spot by opening the whole hand into forward extension. Let's try our new note on the C string, F sharp. It should sound like this. See if you can match this pitch on your instrument using forward extension. Now let's build up to F sharp using forward extension. Remember to use second finger for E so fourth finger can reach the F sharp. Try it with me. Now let's move the sharp symbol to the key signature. Remember, F sharp is always the first sharp in the key signature. Even though the symbol is on the second line from the top, all Fs will be sharp, even the one for the C string. Let's play this pattern one more time. It should sound the same as it just did. Let's do a few more examples on the C string. Pay attention to the key signature. If you see at least one sharp in the key signature, use forward extension for F sharp. That means E will be second finger so you can reach the F sharp with fourth. If there aren't any sharps in the key signature, use regular position for F natural. All right, let's move on to the G string. The basic notes are A, B, and C. As we play these notes, test your fourth finger with open string C. They should match. If not, you may need to adjust your finger. Now let's try that with C sharp using forward extension. If we have two sharps in the key signature, all Fs and Cs will be sharp. Let's try a few more examples on the G string. 
If you see two or more sharps, use forward extension for C sharp. If you see one sharp or no sharps, use regular position for C natural. You really have to think ahead to determine whether to use second or third finger for the note B. Alright, let's move on with a D string. The basic notes are E, F sharp, and G. This time, as you play fourth finger, listen for a ringing sound. If your finger perfectly matches open G, it will resonate and you'll hear it ring. Now let's try that with G sharp. If we have three sharps in the key signature, all Fs, Cs, and Gs will be sharp. We were playing F sharp with third finger, but now we need to use forward extension and play second finger on F sharp so fourth can reach G sharp. Okay, now watch the key signature for the next few examples. If there are three or more sharps, you'll need forward extension for G sharp. If there are fewer than three sharps, you'll use regular position for G natural. Good job! Only one string left, the A string. The basic notes are B, C sharp, and D. Let's play that pattern listening for the ringing tone with open D. To make the D a D sharp, we'll need four sharps in the key signature, F, C, G, and D. Notice that all Ds will be sharp now, which means we wouldn't be able to use open D with this key signature, but we'll talk about that in a later video. Let's just play this pattern using forward extension for D sharp. So remember, in order to use forward extension D sharp, there need to be four or more sharps in the key signature. If there are fewer than four sharps, use D natural. Alright, time to level up. We've played forward extension on all four strings, but only one string at a time. And we didn't use any second fingers in regular position. Now let's really challenge you by crossing strings and reviewing other finger patterns. Make sure to look at the key signature before you play each exercise.
right, that's it. Now you know how to apply key signatures using four root extensions on all four strings. If those last few were challenging, go back and try them again. Otherwise, look for pieces with lots of sharps to keep practicing these patterns. Make sure you check your key signature, know which notes you're supposed to play, know how they should sound, and think ahead to use extension fingerings correctly. With a bit of practice and attention to detail, you are definitely going to level up. Keep playing pretty.